you touched on this a little bit, Doctor, but I want to go into a little more and uh, talking about uh, metal toxicity and cancer. Uh, as an expert in chelation, do you see a connection between patients that that have, you know, a toxic metal, metal toxicity and cancer? Mm -hmm. I think so. I, you know, as I say, it's it's tough to get a statistic on something like that because nobody has a big enough personal accumulation of, of, of patients mm -hmm. and subjects to measure this to, in any scientific way. It's just, an, it's just an, an impression, an experiential thing. And experientially, uh, I see people who get chelated and take care of themselves uh, do not have the incidence of cancer that I, that I would see normally. Uh, I treat cancer. I give chelation to cancer patients, but chelation is not a lot. You're not allowed to say that you're treating cancer with with chelation, mm -hmm. and and I in fact do not treat cancer with chelation. I treat cancer patients with things that I think will boost their immune system. If you give chelation, take lead, cadmium, mercury out of their system, then their immune system is going to be stronger, and I don't think very many people will argue that if your immune system is stronger, you're going to do better fighting cancer.